Okay, have you seen these um, spaces like that in your houses? Like, you know that bugs are gonna come in and you're gonna have the draft from like heat, you're gonna lose heat and you're gonna lose air conditioning because you're gonna have a lot of things and you end up having snakes and things like that in the house. I'm not kidding, right there on that wall, I found the snake skin, look. You see how crazy is this? This, this was a snake and this thing was hanging here was hanging like that so I mean a lot of animals are gonna come through that and you want to make sure that you avoid that because that is a big you know loss of heat and air conditioning so obviously this is an old house in new houses you should prevent that stuff but this is what I'm gonna use and I want you to take a look at it because it's a really good product right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create two things I'm gonna use um, um, you know one technique that sometimes a lot of people don't use and that is using some aluminum tape because the aluminum tape this is aluminum tape is going to help me to to stick right here as as i work i start applying some of the aluminum tape so it doesn't fall down so i'm going to do that stuff as, as we apply the material we're going to shake it really well as we apply it we're going to go ahead and close all the little holes that way we don't lose the foam because sometimes what happens is that you start spraying this and you may see that um, you know before you had experience that you start applying and it just kind of falls off and we want to make sure that it stays there when it expands Okay, so I'm going to show you how to use this pest block from the great stuff and this aluminum tape That is about three inches wide The first cool thing about this uh, Valve this little tip uh, the yellow tip over there is actually a valve by pushing it out you will release the pressure and as you apply the material, you can actually control how much material comes out. Back in the days, the other systems uh, allowed the material just to kind of be, you know, released and free, and it was just expanding and coming out, so it was annoying. In this case, they did a really good job with that tip. Uh, you just need to be careful not to push it too hard because you will close the valve. So uh, in the first section over here, what we're doing is applying the one on the bottom all the way, as much as you can see of these gaps, or whatever you feel that draft is coming, you want to go ahead and close it and with this tape again you can use other type of tapes this one is really sticky and that's why i'm using this aluminum tape it doesn't have to be this wide just as long as something will help you to to stay you know to keep that that foam there it's just fine i just want to give a little extra effort over there to make sure that it, it, it seals really well and you know kind of sticks on the surfaces because this these surfaces are really irregular they are just you know too accidented so that's what we're doing uh, as we apply this, you have to remember that this material will be uh, useful as well for areas like windows. If you're opening walls and you see little gaps, this material won't spend as much as other products that I've seen. Uh, that you know, just they, they just create so much pressure that sometimes you don't have uh, a chance to open your windows really well anymore because they're creating pressure. This one won't spend as much but you can actually close up to one inch of gaps around your um, perimeter right so in this case again we have this brick wall and this you know uh, wood wall over here exterior wall and you know there's just a perfect place but again if you have gaps on the floors in the basement you feel like a lot of air is coming in well guess what bugs are going to come in and they're going to be living inside your house and just like in this situation look at that snake the snake was kind of pushing his way through to change um the skin and it's crazy because i mean it will it will be hard be careful with nails and things like that because in this case we had some nails on those boards and you want to make sure that you don't you know pinch yourself with those things as you go up you have to remember that uh keeping the, the bottle up is better than keeping it down because you will lose a lot of the gas that is inside i just found out that through you know other type of uh, foams that i was using so i don't know if you actually i don't know if the company will uh, you know uh, suggest to do them the other way but this is, is really cool material to work with and it goes really deep these tips are really small and you can go to uh inside i mean uh, gaps uh as, as small as probably quarter of an inch and it kind of sprays in really well it has a lot of pressure in fact 
what I did is that I went through, once we closed the gaps that we considered that were the important ones, I went ahead and just look around you know, the areas that were missing insulation around the windows, the old windows, and I went ahead and, and used the rest of the material there because I didn't want to waste it. And it, the, the, you know, the powder comes in a lot of quantity, so, so it's really good that you can actually apply it. I applied it in both sides of this beam over here, this stud that is here. I went ahead and applied it on the left side as well. It's really important for you to remember also that this is really sticky. So if it gets into your fingers, go ahead and use some sort of like mineral spirits or some oils to remove it. Or obviously if you have like paint thinner or anything that will clean your hands really well. This, this thing will get, you know, if you want to use gloves better, go ahead and use gloves. So look how nice and cool it is. And the important thing about this product is that if you have pollinizers like bees and other animals, it won't hurt them. So it's really cool that they actually thought about that process and you know, the, the care for the environment. So that is the, an important part of it. Now, if you have gaps on the floor, obviously you're not gonna need the tape. I'm just putting this tape because I don't want it to fall down. That is the whole idea of the tape. You can use some other means to do it that way, but I'm gonna leave this one right there. So it's fine for me. That's it. It was a practical little trick that will help you a lot. Don't forget, aluminum tape, uh, some of the foam for the pest control and that's pretty much it so if you have more holes around the house like little areas gaps around the windows you can use them as well it won't span that much we want to make sure that it doesn't fall from those little cracks and that's it so don't forget to subscribe hit the little notification bell comment and like it i'll see you in the next one bye bye